Hello, everyone. Welcome to Geeky Girly Gaming. I'm Holly. And I am Captain Tenille. <laughs> what? <laughs> Remember oh. that show, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge? Yes. Oh, my gosh. As Captain Tenille. And uh, every time he would say something, he's like, well, you're wrong. And I think, <laughs> and I think that's oh. just a good attitude to have. Let okay. everyone know you're wrong. Yeah. Right. So, we're playing Link's Awakening. And we did a little bit of stuff off screen, but we we're at the Nightmare's Lair. Yes. So we're going to go in and we're going to face this. And, oh. Let's see. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. That skeleton. So you are the outsider. Oh, I didn't even hit A. It's I shall eat you. It's a snake. It's got. It's, it's got to be a snake. That sounded like a snake. That's a snake. What? That's a snake's tail. That. Oh. Oh. That does not look like a snake tail. That is. That's not a freaking snake. Slime eel. That's a slime eel. I don't like it. It's creepy. <laughs> I don't like it. It's creepy. I'm guessing you have to. Yeah, go for his face. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you got that hook shot thing now. Oh. oh. Go for his mouth, I guess? I'm trying. You gotta hook it in his mouth, probably. Well, if this thing would get out of my way, I might be able to do it. That's the point. That's the challenge right there. Okay. Alright, so, yes. Corners. Corners are safe. Ah, yeah. yes. There we go. <gasps> yes. Yes. I knew it. And look <laughs> at that. His big tail can't get ya. Warp. Oh. Ah. Yes. Oh, well, okay. Ew! Oh no! Don't like that. What on earth are you doing? Uh oh. No. Oh. That was fake. Oh! That was a decoy. Yeah. I like oh. this corner. Yes. I know this is wrong, but I want to hit him anyway. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Wow, we're just being thrown <laughs> right into the action. Yeah. So you're just gonna wait until. I'm biding my time. Okay. Considering how poorly I've been playing. There we go. Yes. It's funny, you can tell what one's the fake one because he looks angrier or something. Yeah. Like, like that one's the real yeah. one because he looks Very so goofy. goofy. No. Yeah. Tiss, tiss. You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. No, I do not. <laughs> what a fool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty nice island, though. Oh, let me get. There's something weird about this island, isn't there? That's Ganon's egg. <laughs> Nah. It's, what? Nah, I'm just thinking of Oh, shit. Okay, I know. I was like, wait, the egg that's on the mountain the is mountain, what you're talking about. The mountain, the windfish egg. Oh, it's a it's marimba? A oh. Marimba? Wind marimba. Oh. That's xylophone. I remember there was a marimba. Xylophone. I don't know how to, is that how it's pronounced. Xylophone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whose cell phone's ringing? I love the little sounds. Thank you. The last one really did sound like Stranger Things, that part. <laughs> I was editing that one, and I listened to it a whole bunch of times, and I was like, that sounded just like a, something from Stranger Things. Almost sounded like the... The oh, island secret in the shrine. Almost sounded like the Stranger Things theme song for a second, to me. Hmm. You bet the owl in will tell me more about this? Yes. Yes. Mr. Owl will show up. I'm sweaty. <laughs> It's very warm here. We yeah. were just sitting outside for the last like hour and a half. It was so nice, but now it's almost too warm to sit outside. Yeah. It was getting pretty sunny. Pretty very... muggy. I don't mind the warm weather. People are always like, and this is a pet peeve of mine, is people always talk about like, oh, in the summer, it's too hot. You, you can't take off like more clothes in winter. You can put on more clothes and stay warm. But my argument is, in the summer, I can do things, mm -hmm. you know, and like I can go like, well, I'm not anymore, but I used to be able to go <laughs> to a theater, you know, or like mm. air conditioner or something like that, you know, yeah. just kind of like chill out and relax uh, in the shrine. Yeah. Um, so like, it was, you know, but in the winter, it's dangerous to go out because the weather sucks, you know, all this. Yeah. Ooh, I've got a hook shot now. Let's go use it on things. Yes. We got the, oh, there's the mermaid statue. So that's what I was seeing. It's on the map, and I thought it looked like a little ghost or something. I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so you can't hookshot those, so pointless. 
but I've got a hook shot now. Yeah, yes. Let's combine hook shot. Haha, <laughs> 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 joke's on you. What? What did you <laughs> I went under him. <laughs> no, there's nothing here. Damn it, it's been a while. Yeah. No. Okay. Let's stop hanging around here. Oh, I was gonna talk to old man Urira here or whatever. His yeah, name. he'll tell you what's he'll up. He'll give me a hint. What is this about shrine? Urira here. Have you been to the Face Shrine? It's north of Animal Village. <laughs> it's a very interesting ruin. Ah, hang up on you. All right, so we got we got it. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go to the Animal go. Village, which is actually that way. Sorry, I was getting. Up. Yes, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I was pointing, <laughs> pointing to what way it was. I know what's up. But I can't go there. <gasps> so. Oh no! Um, what? Yeah, that's well, why then, I, I was walking well, then, this way. What the what? What the what? Oh, see, go up and over. Yes. <laughs> see? Yeah. Well, okay. But when's this hook shot thing going to come in handy? Oh, nothing. It's just a neat little tool that nobody will ever use. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> it's not, I've never used the hook shot. Look at that. Didn't even do anything. Useless tool. Worst in the game. You said it was your favorite. Okay. <laughs> Let's not take things out of context here. <laughs> right. Let's see. Oh, man. So, we had a pretty interesting night last night. <laughs> yeah. I figure, as far as interesting stories go, this is probably one of the, one of the most interesting. <laughs> Uh, so, la so yesterday we go, we have a nice little visit with my family, and it's nice, we had a nice little, uh... Little bonfire. Little bonfire, we had a little potluck dinner, I guess it was supposed to be, and my brother and his girlfriend cooked for us, and so nice, and we had this nice time, and we get home last night, uh, it was like 10 o'clock, and, uh... I'm locking up my car, and I get out of my car. Oh, and my car is this old, old car, by the way. It's not like one of those new fancy things where you just push a button and the and the door's locked. It has manual locks. So I get out of my car, and I lock it all... Like, I had locked it all up, and I'm... I realize, shit, I'm not holding my keys. <laughs> oh, man. And there was the key sitting in the ignition of the car. <laughs> so oh, that's bad. So then... I'm like, oh no, I just locked my keys in my car, and Brent's tired, and he's, so that pisses him off a little bit. Ooh, we reached the, oh, you get a big present? I get a present. I got a big present. I got a heart oh. piece. Yay, a piece of heart. Do, do, do. This is exciting, so the more shells you find, you're going to get little rewards for each level. Oh my god, so exciting. Um... So Brent's kind of pissed about the keys, because I have two sets of keys, but they're both on that same key rank. It is the I keep worst system. the spare keys on my keys, so I don't have another set of keys, <laughs> and it's kind of stupid. And I know, it makes me sound stupid. So, yeah, now, now I'm going to have a new system for that. So, yeah, a new system is already in place for the keys situation. So Brent's angry. Then he opens up the door to the house, and I hadn't closed the garage rolling down door yet, and our cat runs out and decides, boom, just goes right underneath the freaking garage door, and the cat's gone, yeah. runs out and escapes, and oh my gosh, and then, I don't know, out. that, and then it was like, I was like, no, I, I shrieked. screamed, and I think all the neighbors heard it. <laughs> and just hey. screamed, no! <laughs> and like... Probably like, thought I got murdered, is what you said. Probably thought I got murdered. Probably saw... Me walk into the garage and then scream no. Probably thought there was some intruder in there. No. Nothing happened. So obviously no one cared. Oh, you gotta find a broom. Yeah. Trading game stuff over here. What do I have that in the trading game? You have a, a stick. stick. I have a stick. Does Papal need that, maybe? I don't know. He's up on the mountain. Can you get up there yet? To the mountain uh, to save Papal? He's just up there. He's like, hello. Um, so the cat gets out, and I'm freaking out, and Brent chases the cat, and I don't know, you'll have to he, tell that part of the story. He did not want to be caught, <laughs> which pissed cat. me off even more, because he, he, ran into the neighbor's he yard. was scared. 
And I was like, well, when you're scared, you run, right? So he's running from me. He goes into the neighbor's yard. And he's I'm crying. And he's crying, but he won't let me get near him. So Like a feral Like he's that's straight pissing cat. me off. Yeah. So I I chase him out of the neighbor's yard. He gets into our yard again, jumps the fence, gets into our yard. I have to jump the fence too. <laughs> so my hip hurts now. Oh. <laughs> so um whoops. And uh, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. So uh so he runs onto our deck. And then he runs to the screen door and he climbs it. And I think he's going for the roof because yep. that's what it definitely looked like. Yeah, and- sounds like too. I never actually witnessed this, but climbs all the way up the screen to the top of the door like an idiot. Yeah, and then like he couldn't get up any higher from there. Because there's then- an awning, thank God. Yeah. So there was nowhere for him to go. <laughs> then he runs up onto the kitchen windowsill and that's where I catch him. So, and he's shaking and like he's a leaf. he's shaking and crying, and I realized I can't carry him back over the fence. I have to... No, so I went so and I Polly Kate was coming around, and I told her, can you open up the screen door so I can get in and bring this idiot with me? So uh, we, got, we got back in. Everything was fine. Then we had to Google how to break into your own car. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so the keys were still in the ignition of my car, and I was like, well... I don't know. Like, I don't want to just leave them in there. So we managed to get them on our own. It was nice. Yeah, I figured it's out nice and a little scary. Car. It's nice and a little scary, though, mm-hmm. how easy it actually was. It's like, whatever. It's an old ass car. Yeah, like, nobody's going to steal the car, but not that car's that. got, like, a new pro- issue every month. The amount of money I've put into that car is almost not worth it. Well, no, that's not true. I don't have to put too much money in it to, because my dad's a mechanic, so I'm lucky in that way. Like, he can just look at it and fix the problem, and he doesn't charge me like a mechanic would. It um, used to be my car. So, yeah, and it used to be Brent's car originally. But it's old and old. Yeah, like, it's uh, 24 years old. Mm. <laughs> the car is 24 years old. It's a 1997, and it, like, you know... Like, I don't spend too much money on fixing it, but it does have a new issue every month. Like, a couple of weeks ago, I thought it was leaking oil. Well, well, I didn't think it was. It was, it was definitely leaking oil. And then that problem seemed to fix itself, which makes no sense. And I don't know. But uh, that was our fun night last mm-hmm. night. So I went to bed tired. And angry a little. A little bit. But, I mean, everything did turn out well. I was so, frustrated, not angry. Frustrated, yeah. Would be more the word. It's like, ugh. Like, right after the keys, and then there's the cat running away. Like, was, ugh. Yeah, that pissed me off. Because he's always trying to get out to the garage. And, like, I let him run around the garage. Yeah, he gets out to the garage. And then he just immediately wants, like, not immediately, but after about ten minutes or so, he usually is crying at the door because he wants back in. But, yeah. I don't know. I, I... Like, where's this face? Oh from? man! Imagine if he had gotten up onto the roof <laughs> and into it, into that freaking tree over there right, in the neighbor's yeah. yard. Yeah, I would have been like, "Well, guess you live in that tree now, you guess, dummy." Guess you're a tree cat. <laughs> I'm not going after you. Like, I'm not climbing no tree at 10:30 uh, at night to get my cat. I told him, like, if you do that shit again, I'm not chasing after you. <laughs> <laughs> he was originally a stray. That somewhat that a coworker of ours had found and said, "Oh, do you want this cat?" And yeah, like we took him in and uh, got him all checked out at the mistake. vet. And <laughs> he's a little crazy. I think he wherever he lived before, I think he escaped from. Yeah, because he's a little escape artist. The very first night, <clears throat> the first <laughs> night we had him, he was trying to open the door. Yeah, he was trying to get up to the door handle and turn it to open the door. So I don't know. Just a curious cat, that's all. Dog. He's a cat, what do you expect? Alright, oh so my this gosh. has been a waste so, of time. <laughs> I've been wasting Well, I hope that you stuff. enjoyed our story. <laughs> what, you didn't even make it to Animal Village yet? I made it to Animal Village, but there's nothing there. <laughs> well, you obviously need to use your hookshot to get somewhere, right? Now that you got it. Yes. So Brent discovered nothing in this episode, I so that was boss. great. <laughs> yes, it was not all for nothing. We beat the boss. 
We beat the slime eel. I think that these names of these bosses are getting worse and worse as you go. Like, start out with, like, Moldorm. It's like, oh, yeah, Mor Moldorm? That sounds like a pretty cool name for a boss. Now it's just, like, Anglerfish. Thing slime that. eel. Like, Bad guy. <laughs> one was just called Genie. <laughs> like, not very creative. Not very creative uh, makers of Legend of Zelda. It's a very simple little it's, game. It's just a small company called Nintendo. Nobody's really heard of them. It's probably their first game. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that they're trying their best. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed our story about last night. I mean, that's about what I'm good at talking you know about. came out of that. So <laughs> yeah. Well. And we hope that you enjoyed. I thought his name was Sandwich for a second. I, I talked to him earlier. You talked to him. He said he, he made the mermaid statue. Yes. And that's about what we know. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoy. Oh my God. Okay. We'll talk to this adorable thing on the. No, don't talk. No, talk. Don't you dare. Right. We're ending this. Oh my God. Just... All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.